Welcome back to my channel, I'm NDL Jamer. First, I have a gift code for you. COX Goo Q8B. Although the reward isn't much, it's better than nothing. Now let's get into the main topic. In part one, I will list all the ways to use gems, crystals, and then in part two, I will tell you the most effective ways to use them. Okay, let's start with part one. One, you can use gems to buy energy and zip with a limit of six purchases per day. Energy and zip are essential in this game, and I'll talk about how to use them effectively in another video. Number two, you can use gems to buy items in the shop. I recommend only buying Lure Pots and Safari Zone if you need to catch Pokemon because Mega Shards are quite expensive. For 100 Mega Shards, it costs you up to 20k gems, and to Mega Evolve Gyarados, you need 900 Mega Shards. Three, um, you can visit the shop in Celadon City to buy berries and a Master Pokeball every day. There are many other items for sale here and the prices aren't too high. Four, you can use gems to spin the lucky wheel. The rewards are plentiful, but if you're unlucky, you might get nothing. Sometimes you get lucky and they even refund your gems. Plus you have a chance to receive a UR held item. Five, when catching Pokemon, you can use gems to search, but it will cost you both gems and 30 zip. However, it saves time. Um, you can use this to catch Pokemon to upgrade stars or complete missions. In this video, I need to increase Pikachu's star level, so I used a Lucky Lure Pot and caught it. I think catching an R-rated one is easier than an SSR, although it costs more gems. While making the video, I also took the opportunity to catch some Pokemon. Please bear with me for a bit. Thanks to this combo, I find it much easier to catch Pokemon, and I no longer have to worry about them escaping. I've already made a video guide on how to use this combo, so you can check that out on my channel.
6. Buy necessary items to evolve your hero. For example, my Pikachu needs a Thunderstone to evolve into Pichu. There are many different types of stones here, so buy what your Pokemon needs. I may not have covered everything, but these are the ways I usually spend gems. Part 2. What are the most effective ways to use gems? Based on my analysis, buying energy and zip, master ball shards, lures, and capsules are the most necessary and reasonably priced items. The most effective way to use gems is to catch Pokemon to upgrade stars. These are my personal insights, so please forgive any mistakes. I'm a frugal person, so I always try to research before spending gems on anything, and I want to guide you to achieve the best results. Thank you for watching my video, please remember to subscribe to support me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.